Welcome back to the Hockey Show, and we are talking about the first day of free agency and starting off with the New York Rangers, a team that has so many expectations to go far in the playoffs. And personally, me, after their moves to pick up Kane and Tarasenko, I actually thought they were going to win the whole thing. I mean, last year, get, going to the Eastern Conference Finals, I was like, this team is stacked, and they're even more stacked this year. Oh, my God. And then they just absolutely screw the pooch in the first round against the New Jersey Devils. And why? Really, to me, you can say it a, a few couple of things, right? But to me, I would say it's mostly scoring in general. Some guys like Panarin not showing up, guys like Zabenejad being empty, guys like uh, Kane getting only one goal. And tell me. If you're at home right now, here's a little trivia question. How many players do you think in that first round of the playoffs for the New York Rangers had more than one goal? More than one, so two or more. If your answer is four, you're wrong. The answer is two. Kreider and Tarasenko were the only two players who had more than one goal. Kane, Panarin, Zabenejad, Fox. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Lafreniere, Capo, Caco, Philip Heedle. All these guys, one goal. One goal at least, and that is horrible and really I think the issue is that the team was kind of monotone right they were kind of like yes they were super skilled and talented but at the same time they had no diversity in their firepower right take a look at the a team like the um like the Vegas Golden Knights that won the Stanley Cup they've got one line of guys like let's say their fourth line with Colasar, Carrier and I mean I think it always flipped in and out but those guys like the bottom of the team is really like big guys big guys who are there to be grindy and fight their way through hell and that and then you go up to the top of the line where you have guys like Marcia so and uh, Eichel playing a skill game thing uh, William Carlson and Mark Stone being those defensive guys the Rangers don't really have that and I think they're finally getting something here and starting to shake things up in that top mix and towards the bottom with these free agent pickups here first off we've got Blake Wheeler and this is a steal great job here by the contracts by the way regardless of your opinions of these guys great contracts Blake Wheeler one year for eight hundred thousand dollars that's it that is it only one that that is huge absolutely huge for this team only one percent of their cap hit going to Blake Wheeler and this guy regardless of what you think of him he had 16 goals 55 points this last season so really 55 points not that bad absolutely not that bad at all the guy's a left winger but that plays center as well 225 pounds which I'm pretty sure at least makes him number one or two heaviest guy on the New York Rangers this guy it, they've got their skilled players. They don't need any more skilled players on this team. What they need is a guy, a big power forward like Blake Wheeler, to be on the ice, to be hard to knock off the puck and barrel his way to the net. He can stand in front of the net. He can be that one-timer guy. He's going to be that power forward in the offensive zone that the Rangers really don't have. They just simply don't, and that is huge, huge. For the Rangers for that second scoring. Guys like Panarin are skilled. Guys like Zabenejad, Kreider. Kreider's an interesting player. He's skilled. He does a lot of good things well, right? And he's also top six veteran. He's got the size. Veteran, though. Playoff talent. That playoff run where in back in, was it 18, 2017 to 18, the year the uh, Golden Knights, their first season? Yeah, 70, 18 was uh, the year the Winnipeg Jets made it to the Stanley Cup, uh, the East, the Western Conference Finals, and the guy got like 17 points in 21 games or 21 points in 17 games or something like that. The guy's a player. He When he's in it, he's in it, and I think with the Rangers not having to be one of the top guys and being able to have like a secondary role and maybe help out some of the guys like Lafreniere, I think is going to be smart, and he brings that size. So I like the move. Very good move there. Jonathan Quick as the backup is a genius move by the New York Rangers. One year, less than a million again, 825000 Solid backup. Absolutely solid backup. The hometown kid, well, not he's, not, I'm, he's from New York. I don't think it's his actual home city. And uh, so home state team, the kid grew up loving the New York Rangers, and now he's going to end up his career, I'd assume, here in uh, New York, which is a genius, just amazing for him but also to come off of winning the stanley cup what an interesting couple of teams he's been on with the being on the kings and beating the rangers to win that stanley cup then being traded and ending up in las vegas where he 
He, he wins with the Vegas Golden Knights, the Stanley Cup, and now he's going to the Rangers, the team he originally beat for the Stanley Cup. It's just an interesting few teams that this guy has landed up on. And Jonathan Quick, smart move. The guy brings experience. The guy brings absolute passion to win. If, if Shesterkin ever goes down, the New York Rangers are going to have a guy who's going to be put in the net, and he's going to—I mean, he's definitely not the Jonathan Quick when he beat the New York Rangers. We all know that. But he's got that experience and playing on his home team. Also, the guy loves to look well in his pads. I cannot wait to see. I hope he uses those original Vaughn, that scheme on his pads. Because in that blue and red is going to look amazing. So I can't wait to see that. And his helmet, I, I can't wait to see it is how he's decked out. Genius move for the Rangers there. And then we got some more depth guys. Here in Nick Bonino, genius fourth line centerman. He can go on the penalty kill. He's a defensive forward. He doesn't get a lot of production. Of course not. I mean, especially having some bad seasons with like the San Jose Sharks getting 19 points last season. The guy's not going to be getting 20 goals by even close. He might not even get to 10. But he's a solid penalty killer, and he's going to be someone who in the playoffs is a performer. If there is ever a guy in the league who shows up for the playoffs, it's Nick Benino. And it's a shame that he didn't get to make it last year with the Penguins. But when this guy's in it with the Rangers this year, look out for him. He's someone who in the playoffs might get 20 points. I mean, sorry, in the regular season might make 20 points. And then in the playoffs get the 30 points. That's the type of guy he is. Nick Benino, nice pickup for the Rangers. A solid guy who stands in front of the net, knows what he's doing, a smart player. And just, just great pickup all around. He's going to be someone they're going to like down into the playoffs and in those nitty-gritty moments. He's not someone you're looking to get you that one goal when it's like 5-4 to four or something. He's the type of guy that, that in the playoffs, he's the playoff performer, good penalty killer, good move. And then just a couple uh, scratch guys that can fill in the lineup if there's an injury. Riley Nash, he's been around the league a little while. Two years at 775, not that bad there. Tyler Pitlick, another guy, one year for 2787.5. I wonder how they ever land up on those deals where they're like, like, do you think they like negotiate? It's like we're willing to do 750, and they're like, mm, no, let's do 800. And it's like, eh, no, let's meet in the middle, and they're like 775, like. No, 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 no. A little bit more than that, and they end up there. I, I just think it's strange that that's the number they come to. Like, why so precise? But anyways, good a couple scratches. They got a couple other guys like Connor Mackey for defense, who's another guy from Arizona. He's kind of young, so if the Rangers get an uh, injury on defense or someone has to move, be moved out or something, he's a decent player that can, can fit in the lineup, even though they'll probably put Zachary Jones in anyways. So an interesting scratch guy like that as well so a few really good depth pickups by the new york rangers not bad at all genius moves i really like it and they're doing exactly what i thought they need to do they definitely don't need any like top guys to replace like panarin or something but they do need some secondary guys and that's what they're getting blake wheeler a backup goalie is literally the definition of a second goalie and uh, nick benino being that fourth liner G just great move great move so far and i don't know if they're done yet they and I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I know Lafreniere and Keandre Miller, what's going on with them. And uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens still. But for now, great move by the Rangers. And that is all I got to say. So if you made it this far, please, I'm begging you, pick up your free subscription. And until next time, too sweet, have an amazing day. And ta-ta for now. Uh...